What's going on everybody, it's me Star here and today it's a video which I really wasn't expecting to make but I have to come clean. I was wrong about laser. Honestly, until just recently, if you told me that it even worked at all, I would have probably laughed you out of the room. Of course, not before reminding you of the no memes rule, but it's actually good now. Now I don't know what happened, I don't know when it did, but seriously, wow. Like genuinely, it runs better than stable. Not that that's necessarily a big accomplishment though. But it definitely shows that it's on the right track. And with how it looks right now, I would honestly not be surprised to see it release either by the end of this year or early next year. And I mean, sure, you'll still need to iron out some things, but let's get to that. Laser has quite a few changes over classicos and I want to go over some of the ones which I found were the most important. Starting with the new menus, personally, I love them. The web integrations are fantastic and it's kinda crazy to realize how much you've missed them once you finally get to have them. Also I really like how the new results screen shows your unstable rate as well as where you actually click the circle. But all of that is just more small quality of life stuff, so let's move on to the big part. All the side modes finally have their own editor. And as someone who has actually mapped those modes in the past, that's great. But in general, the new editor is just amazing. The Taiko one feels a bit foreign for now and I don't like how it auto scrolls to where you place the node, but maybe that's just something you'll have to get used to. Catch on the other hand, I don't fully understand it, but I love it. Cause now it actually shows you the patterns instead of having you just place down sliders and hope for the best. But now it one for one looks like the actual game. Now I'm not a good mapper by any stretch of the imagination and I'm sure someone who actually knows what they're doing could definitely get the same results with the old editor. Working with the new one is just so much more approachable, which is going to open up mapping to way more people. But now let's talk about something which is a lot less great, the scoring system. Honestly, I hate it. Do I think it should be changed though? Honestly, I don't know. Like, let's be real here, it makes a lot more sense that timing the slider hats finally starts to matter, and you can probably get used to it within a few days at most. However, it makes sliders harder overall and some patterns completely unplayable. But for those that don't want it, there's still a classic mode anyways. And yeah, the old system is stupid and flawed, so it's understandable that you want to get rid of it, but please, if you do that, at least have sliders actually matter for PP. Can't wait for it to shaft tech players though, cause seriously, go play some real maps. Another thing which is absolutely awful is importing stuff, but to be fair, you only really have to do that once. And lastly they once again shit the bed with the default mania skin. Other than that I couldn't really find anything to complain about. The game runs super smooth, it has lower input delay than stable and it adds a ton of cool features. So the only thing which is still keeping me from switching over completely is the fact that you can't submit plays yet. But before I can end this video I still want to scoot over to Santa Peppy's lap and read him my wish list. First of all, please delete the new scoring system. I know you're not going to, but hey, I might as well try. Secondly, and for me personally, this is also the biggest one, please have difficulty adjust, be a ranked mod. Or well, at least the AR part. The rest might be hard to manage, cause it will actually change the difficulty of the map, but at least with the AR part, it's literally just preference. So I think it should really be treated like scroll speed and mania. Now it's way less important, but the same basically also goes for the mirror mod. Especially since it's mutually exclusive with hard rock, so it's not even like you could cheese the system with it. So I would also love to see that one be a ranked preference mod. Lastly, I would also love it if there was a mod which increased the speed by 1.2. Cause with some maps you just know you can play them faster, but double time would be a bit too much. However, I know this might lead to a whole slew of other problems in regards to farming, so there's probably a good reason why it doesn't already exist. Those are basically all the things which I feel are still missing from laser. And as you might have noticed, none of those things are actually necessary, they're all just stuff I would love to have. That's because besides storyboards, multiplayer and of course submitting a ranked score, the game basically already feels feature complete. And if you enabled that and then just released it to the public, I think people would just accept it as is. But what do you think about laser? Definitely leave it in the comments down below. And with that, we've reached the end of today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed it and if you did, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. And with that, see you. Oh yeah, and of course, add to Hosu.